Let me tell you about how a breakup and the craziest world event to happen in the last seven years led to dopamine detox saving my life. And I get the feeling that if you stick around for the rest of this video, it could save your life too. So to tell the story, we need to take it back to April of 2020. I was one month into a breakup and the entire world was locking down. Stay at home. I was in Cape Town, South Africa with one of my best friends stuck in the house. I mean, we weren't even allowed to leave to go for a run. It was insane. And even worse, there was no flights in or out of South Africa. So I was literally just stuck. And yet it was in this period where I couldn't drink, you know, cause it was a ban on buying alcohol. I couldn't drink, I couldn't socialize. I literally couldn't do anything except for be at home and work and just be with myself. And with all of that being said, those were some of the happiest months of my entire life. You see, dopamine detox is an incredible way to reclaim your life and really start performing at a high level. In fact, I made a video all about it. Now for 99% of people, the real use case for a dopamine detox is that it resets your focus levels and your attention levels. So that way you can go ahead and crush your goals. But for me personally, being forced into a dopamine detox while the entire world was shut down, what it really did was help me find peace and happiness again. Now, just for a little bit of context for anyone new to the channel, back in April of 2020, when you know I was basically forced into a dopamine detox, I was 20 years old and I was making millions of dollars a year. And I had been for a few years, ever since I started my business back when I was 16. I spent years climbing to the top of the hill and achieving everything that I wanted to achieve while I was still in my teens. In fact, I even documented the entire process on my YouTube ever since the age of 15. And honestly, anything above making $10,000 a month added very little extra enjoyment to my life. But getting to $10,000 a month should be one of your number one priorities, especially considering just how many vehicles and opportunities there are in order to accomplish that. In fact, if you wanna learn how, I spent three to four days locked myself into this room and assessed the best six to eight business models out there to truly give you the answer as to what is the best way to make $100,000 a year online in 2022. That was probably one of my most well-received videos in the last year or so. People absolutely loved it, found tons of value. So I'll go ahead and leave that as the first link in the description. It'll just take you to another YouTube video, no website or landing page or anything like that. Anyways, for me, once I got past that 10, let's say even 20 or $30,000 a month level, I started to face a new challenge. No extra amount of money made me any happier. In fact, I got to a point where I received no dopamine from all the things that people aspire to in life. You know, I got to a point where I was 20 years old and quite frankly, you know, over the space of the last two, two and a half years, it's gotten even worse as I've grown my businesses and my investments. But I got to a point where I would walk into a store and there was just literally nothing I couldn't buy. Like, you know, I could buy any supercar I wanted realistically. I could buy any watch I wanted realistically. I could buy, I don't know, I just didn't need to look at the price. Like the bill would come and you know, it's like folded over in a little deck. I just. I wouldn't even bother to look at the bill. I, why would I? I know some of you guys are going, cool, cry me a river, but really it gets to a point where you almost feel a little jaded and you're like, wow, I accomplished all of this at such a young age and I got everything that everyone ever wanted. So what now? I needed a reset. I needed to wipe the slate clean. And when the entire world shut down and I was stuck in a house, well, you know, I can't complain. It was a really nice five, six bedroom villa, but still nonetheless, you know, I was stuck inside. I couldn't leave the house. I couldn't socialize. I couldn't see my friends from London. I couldn't travel, I couldn't do anything. I was, I mean, I was literally stuck in a foreign country. I was forced into a dopamine detox. For three months, I didn't have a sip of alcohol. For three months, I went fully celibate. I mean, as I said, I was stuck in a foreign country and you could only leave to go to the supermarket. So for three months, I mean, literally the only female I even spoke to was, uh, you know, some of the staff working at the supermarkets. For three months, while a lot of people actually ramped up their phone usage during, you know, the lockdowns and stuff like that, I actually had some of the lowest phone usage I'd ever had. And that probably parlayed into the next reason, which is for three months, I had some of the best, absolutely best meditations I've ever had. A dopamine detox allowed me to truly enjoy the little things in life again, to the point where at the end of the day, I would watch the sunset with my friend while we were having a, a you know, a cup of tea. So what dopamine detox does is it brings you close closer to who you truly are. When you remove all of these external influences and all of this input coming your way, then as I said, really what's left is the true you. And when you do this, this is where you have the profound changes where, you know, you level up with your health, with your uh, relationships, with your business, whatever it may be. Or for me personally, it was an experience where like, I was like, wow, I love life again. Like as weird as that sounds, like it was an experience where I was like, wow, there's true, you know, there's truly beauty in the little things. And, and that was something that was really powerful for me. But 
Anyways, I know a lot of you guys might be wondering, okay, this is super cool, man, but like, how do I actually implement a dopamine detox? Well, I recorded a full video on it on my channel, probably like two months ago or something, but I'll give you just quick cliff notes right now. Now, the protocol that I use and I recommend is that a dopamine detox is really just a hard reset. Okay, so that shouldn't be something that you're doing for, you know, months and months and months. It's like it's a shock to the system, but it's for a short period of time. Okay, so for me, a dopamine detox is a hard reset for seven days and it comprises of a few pillars. Now, my pillars are slightly different to you know what I recommend for other people. For people who want to try a dopamine detox, these are the four pillars you should implement. The first pillar is limiting your phone screen time to just an hour a day. The second pillar is no YouTube. I know that a lot of you guys, you know, if you're watching this right now and this is education to you and that's totally fine. You know, YouTube, you can really find some gems. But let's be honest, 95 percent of YouTube, even like the productivity stuff, you're not really learning anything, right? You're just like, it's just entertainment really more than anything. So that's number two. You can reintegrate YouTube after seven days, but for the seven days, no YouTube. Number three, no adult films, we'll say. This is something that drains men specifically of so much energy um, and just, just so much motivation, right? Um, when you do the deed, you're basically biologically signaling to your body like, hey, we've accomplished something when you've quite literally accomplished nothing. So that's number three, no adult, you know, adult films. And the fourth pillar is 10 minutes a day of meditation, even just 10 minutes a day for seven days, you will feel so much more grounded. Trust me. You know, there have even been periods in my life in the past where I'm like, oh, I kind of feel like off center, off balance. And then I'm like, well, yeah, I haven't meditated for like three weeks. So like, dummy, like, what do you expect? Now, after seven days, you need to integrate some of these habits more sustainably. And that's actually where I formulated a protocol called monk mode. And I've shot quite a few videos on that. You can look through my channel and you know, you'll find actually how to implement that. Now, whether you're doing a dopamine detox in order to reset your focus level. So that way, you know, you can really, you know, put your head down and build up to $10,000 a month with your personal income by building an online business. So whether you're trying to do that or you're trying to get you know, jacked and, you know, or lose weight and you need the motivation for that. Or for example, for me, dopamine detox is a great thing to do when I'm just feeling a little like, I'm just feeling a little jaded, right? And I'm just like feeling like, you know, I'm not appreciating the little things in life. So whatever you use it for, it is a very powerful tool and a tool you should continue to use in your arsenal. So try it out. I guarantee it will be a game changer. And let me know in the comments your experience with it if you've tried it in the past.